like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Connor! The fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. By the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole, just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? I'm like wasting your time. There's some pervert who, uh... <laughs> Got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Good night, Lieutenant. of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. You're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Everything's all right. 
All we want is to know what happened. Is he... Is he dead? Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't... Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said, there was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <sighs> so there was another android. This happened over an hour ago, it's probably long gone. No, it couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit, there's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leave in the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. It saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Uh. Let's try this one. This better be working. Tracy, I know which way it went. Then go. Go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you going to tell which one's.
checked all the Tracy with blue hair. I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path. track again. anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be... ...be the most expensive investigation of my career. anything. I made a mistake somewhere. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy.
We're too late. Look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. People are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you... ...you want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, we're gonna be extinct. Because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being.
And that man broke the other Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive, get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again, make me forget about the humans, their smell of sweat, and their dirty words. Come on, let's go. Probably better this way. These people we're going to see, how do you know about them? Overheard androids not go captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. The AX-400 android reported to have attacked its owner in a Detroit suburb is still at large. Police appeared to lose its trail after a close encounter. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol.
We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. shelter. Here we go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Cookies left? Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Be like them someday. Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's 
all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a knight who... No! Not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but the shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then she met a robot. who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met. Another robot, who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Dallas. Sleep tight. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything? About Alice? Yes, of course. 
She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in it. Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice. Our guest. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately.
Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls, they just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines, and machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human. Sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation what'll happen if I pull this trigger hmm nothing oblivion Android heaven nothing there would be nothing Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think.